What I'd like to do is show you now um, how to uh, get yourself set up with Visual Studio Code. So the first thing you want to do is, let me just open my hard drive. I'm going to go to my Documents folder. And here you'll see I've created a folder called CNMS 165 Web Production. If you open it, you'll see that I've created folders for each week. They're blank. Nothing's in them. If you open these, there's I just created weekly folders for myself. This is what I would like for you to do. I skipped uh, week nine because that's our midterm week. You don't need a folder for that. And I've skipped week 16 because that's our final exam week. You don't need a folder for that. But with this in place, then what I can do is go to, let's see, here is my Brightspace page. And in week one, I've got a lab to do. It's right here. So I'm going to click on the week one lab. And it says, here are the files for me to download. So I will click this download. And I'm on a Mac, so it downloads right down here. I think on Windows there's something similar, but whatever it is, you want to go to that. So I'm going to show you in my finder. There's the download. It is a zipped folder, and you will need to unzip it. On a Mac, all you have to do is double click to unzip it. Um, I've already done that once, so you can see this is the second copy. On Windows, you've got to right click and choose Extract All. So this is a critical step. You need to unzip it. That's just really important. And then you're going to move the week one lab. I'm going to take my first copy, not the second one, and put it into your week one folder. So I'm going to open this and go to the week one folder. Now if I open my week one folder, there's the week one lab, and there's all the files that are associated with it. Because of this folder hierarchy, I can now open Visual Studio Code and, oh, why won't that go full screen? Hmm. Anyway, I can open Visual Studio Code and I can go to my drop-down menu and choose Open Folder. From here, I will go to my Documents folder, my Web Production folder, and my, I don't like them being... Uh, like that, so I'll put them in this order. If I open week one, you'll see there's the week one lab. I'm only going to click one time on this folder. I don't want to open it yet. I don't want to go inside of it. I just want to have the week one folder selected. And then I'll click open. So now I will have week one lab all open here for me in Visual Studio Code. I've got an index.txt and here's my assets folder and these are the images that are in the assets folder. So set your files up like that. That'll be the best way. Again, just as a quick review, on your computer desktop, create inside your documents folder a folder for this class. In that folder, create weeks. Then each week when you're given a lab to download, download it into that weekly folder.